Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerve Report. My name is Bryant. And for today's show, I want to answer a question that I seem to get asked a lot here on the channel. And that is, how do you get Google Stadia to run on an iOS device? And the reason I think that this question has become so prevalent is because Apple doesn't really want services like Stadia to be in the App Store selling games unless Apple can make some money off of the games sold on Google Stadia. So for the most part, Stadia and other cloud gaming services have all been kind of kneecapped by Apple's decisions, making it more difficult than it needs to be to use services like Google Stadia. In fact, on Android devices, users who want to play games on Google Stadia simply have to download an app from the App store and play the games there. Whereas on iOS devices, when you open the Stadia app and try to play a game, you receive a message that says, find a way to play, which explains other ways to play Google Stadia than the device that you are currently using. Now, luckily for us, the team at Stadia has a pretty clever workaround for this, which treats Safari similar to a Google Chrome browser. So in order to play Stadia on an iOS device, we will need to open up the Safari browser and go to stadia.com where you will be prompted to sign in or sign up for a free stadia account after all of that you're done and you can now start buying and playing video games on Google Stadia and while we were filming this video I mean I was able to get PUBG running on Google Stadia through Safari and I gotta say I, I was really surprised about how well Stadia ran in a web app I mean I would put this experience on par with my Chromecast Ultra or even just trying to run Google Stadia through a Chrome browser. Now, if you're like me, having to go to Safari and typing in Stadia every time you want to play is probably going to bother you. So another quick fix you have is that while you are in Safari, click the upward arrow icon at the top of the screen and you can create a Stadia app icon that allows you to jump directly to the Stadia homepage every time you click it. And now that we're logged in and have access to Stadia, it brings us to the conversation of controllers. So Stadia does offer touch controls for various games. So if you don't have a controller and still want to play, it's not an issue. But if you're wanting to use a controller to play games, you have two options. Number one, go to the iOS settings menu and sync one of your Bluetooth controllers to your Apple device. And once it's synced, you can use that controller on Google Stadia. And option number two is you can use your Stadia controller, which connects directly to the Wi-Fi and communicates directly to the Google servers. And in order to sync your Stadia controller, you simply have to follow the prompts given to you on the Stadia homepage, and once you've pressed the buttons in the correct order, you're good to go. And you know, at the end of the day, I, I was extremely surprised about how easy it was to play games like Cyberpunk, Resident Evil Village, or even PUBG on an iPad. And it's kind of a shame that Apple refuses to support services like Stadia, because playing Stadia on this iPad might have been one of the best experiences that I've had with Google Stadia. But what do you all think? Have you tried out Stadia on your iPad or your iPhone yet? I'm really interested to hear what your experiences have been. So please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you wanna see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you wanna see your name there? I know I do.